My name is Tyson Weister. When you come to data.census.gov for any data search, you must choose between two ways to get started, the single search bar or the advanced search. If you're not sure which one will meet your data needs best, this video is for you. In this tutorial, I'll show you ways to get started with each search option and provide tips and tricks to make the most of your search. Let's go. When you visit data.census.gov, the landing page offers two ways to start your data search, the single search bar and the advanced search link. You can access both options in the center of the page. Let's take a closer look at the single search bar. We recommend the single search bar when you want to find a statistic quickly or for experienced data users that know their table ID or NAICS code. You can enter search terms for various topics, common types of geographies, year of data, table IDs, groups of tables, or industry codes. You don't have to search for one search term at a time either. You can use a combination of keywords like your topic of interest and a single geography. The single search bar supports geographies at the national, state, county, city, town, congressional district, school district, tribal area, and zip code levels. If you're new to Census Bureau data, here are a few of the high-level topics covered in data.census.gov. The single search bar allows you the flexibility to attempt to search for any keyword, but these are a few recommendations if you're not sure where to start. Now let's see how simple it is to use the single search bar to find a quick statistic. To start, let's say you are interested in finding the average commute in Lakewood City, Colorado. Click into the single search bar, type commuting in Lakewood City, Colorado, and press enter. This takes you to the all results page. In this case, you will see in the upper left that the site found a match for two filters a topic filter for commuting, and a geography filter for Lakewood City, Colorado. You will also notice a featured statistic at the top of the page. It shows the average travel time to work in Lakewood City, Colorado. To explore the available data in more detail, simply click the Tables tab at the top. The list of table results shows there are 174 other tables to explore on this topic. One helpful tip is to look closely at your results for table IDs and keywords in the table names. This is a great way to improve your use of the single search bar and get the most out of the data platform in future searches. For our second example, let's see how you can search by table ID. It's the most direct way to get back to a table result once you've went through the steps to find a table that has data you are interested in. Simply click into the single search bar and type in your desired table IDs separated by a space. In this example, we'll type DP02, DP03, DP04, DP05, and press enter. From here, we can select each table individually to view the data. If you're ever feeling overwhelmed by the number of table results you are getting, I recommend checking out these data profiles. They cover the most popular statistics across all topics of the American Community Survey in just a few tables. Now let's click the U.S. Census Bureau logo in the upper left to clear out our search and take us back to the landing page. Keep in mind that when you use the single search bar, the system is making its one best guess to interpret all the text you typed. We try to perfect the single search functionality, but our best guess may not always match your intent or expectations. The good news is that we offer another easy way to choose predefined search options using the advanced search. Now, when you hear the word advanced, you may be wondering, is this the right search for me? The advanced search is for all types of data users regardless if you are new to census data or an experienced data user. We recommend it anytime you want to select topics, geographies, years, surveys, programs, or codes 
especially if you're having trouble finding something through the single search bar. I love the advanced search for three reasons. First, it provides a guided approach to select your search criteria. This allows you to browse the available search options without requiring you to have any knowledge about Census Bureau data. The second benefit is that the advanced search is more precise than the single search bar. All you have to do is mark the checkboxes for any filters that you want to include in your search. You do not have to come up with your own words to describe your search or rely on us to interpret them exactly as you intended. The third benefit of the advanced search is that it allows you to access all available search options, including the full set of geographies, topics, and codes. For example, some types of geographies are only available through the advanced search, such as metro areas, census tracts, block groups, and blocks. Now let's see how easy it is to find data using the advanced search. Imagine you want to find the population for all census tracts in Saratoga County, New York. To get started, click the advanced search link located directly below the single search bar. You'll see the filters on the left side of the page. We will click through a couple of these categories. I like to think the site is asking us a series of questions as we go along and that our answers will guide us to the checkboxes that match our interests. We're always looking for a checkbox as a final selection. Any words or phrases you click that do not have checkboxes provide more detailed options to choose from. Now we'll start using the filters to select our geography. Under geography, it asks us for the type. We'll choose tract. It asks for a state. We'll click New York. Now it asks for a county. Select Saratoga County. New York, then click the checkbox for all census tracts within Saratoga County at the top of the list and make sure it's been added to your selected filters in the upper left. Next, we'll choose our topic. Navigating to the topics heading on the left and select populations and people, counts, estimates, and projections, and then check the box next to population total. Once again, make sure the selection appears in the upper left, click the search button in the lower right, and then click tables at the top. Now we see our results. The first table shows total population from the 2020 census in the first row. As we follow the row across, we get these data for each census tract in Saratoga County. As a final tip, before you start selecting filters, think about what's the most critical piece of information you need to find. If you absolutely need data for a specific topic, it's best to find that filter first and add it to your search. From there, you can add the geography you need based on what is available for that topic. On the other hand, if the geography is most important, you should start with that filter instead. So remember, Use the single search bar when you want to find the key statistic quickly or when you know the exact table that you want to find. Use the advanced search as a guided approach to access all available search options or when you want a more precise way to select your search criteria. Thank you for tuning into this video. For more helpful resources on how to navigate data.census.gov, apply filters, create a map, or download data, please visit the data.census.gov help website.